Hello, I'm Shao Shui. I'm so glad to introduce our tool FineLock, automatically refactoring coarse grain locks into fine grain locks. Concurrent programs based on locks are susceptible to lock contention, which would result in low performance and poor scalability. Inappropriate grain of a lock makes lock contention even worse. It is generally accepted that a fine grain lock may mitigate lock contention. However, writing a program based on fine grain locks is much more difficult compared with that based on coarse grain locks, which requires careful design and expertise. This inspires us to develop an automation tool to help developers refactor code by converting coarse grain locks into fine grain locks with the hope of reducing lock contention. There shows a motivating example that extracted from Java API specification. The code shows a typical implementation of cache processing. The master is protected by a synchronized lock, which is a coarse grain lock. It first checks whether the cache contains the data in line 2. If so, the data is read in line 5. Otherwise, data will be written into the cache. However, the write operation is executed only when the cache doesn't have the data. It can use lock downgrading to allow more concurrency. Here shows the code refactored by lock downgrading, which is a fine grain lock. It first acquires a read lock, which is enough to ensure concurrency for the condition checking. When the condition holds, a write lock must be used and thus the read lock is released and a write lock is acquired. Note that the condition is rejected in line 17 to guarantee the consistency because the condition might be changed by another thread. After the data is written into the cache, the write lock is downgraded into a read lock. Then, the write lock is released. Finally, after the data is read, the read lock is released. The code indicates that when the cache has the data, the current thread only acquires the read lock instead of acquiring the write lock it will get more concurrency. This is the design framework. The refactor probe is to locate synchronized locks that can be refactored into fine grain locks and summarize the statements in a critical section into a pattern. The pattern generator is to encode the sequence of programming statements into a sequence of characters where each character marks the state of the statement. The pushdown automaton is utilized to infer locks based on a generated pattern for a critical section. Each character in the pattern sequence is used as a trigger to transfer from one state to another. FunLock conducts transformation on AXT by converting synchronized locks into re-entrant read-write locks. We implement FunLock as an Eclipse plugin, so let's demonstrate the two. First, select the project you want to refactor. Then, click the two. This is the refactoring preview. The left side shows the original code, and the right side shows the refactored results by using lock downgrading. The code is similar to the motivating example, so click the finish button to accomplish the refactoring. We evaluate FunLock in five real-world applications. A total of 1,546 synchronized locks are refactored, of which 8% are converted to fine grain locks. The size of the projects varies from 12,000 to 530,000 source lines of code, and the time used to refactor each project 
is on average 27.6 seconds, which indicates fun lock is generally applicable to large projects. Fun lock is available at this website. Thanks for watching.